Here's a continuation on our videos on how to solve further osmolality questions. Example 7 says express the concentration of 308 milliosmos per liter of normal saline solution with molecular weight 58.5 in percent weight by volume. Step 1 is to calculate the amount of sodium chloride in grams that will provide an osmolarity of 308 milliosmos per liter. So we have to write out our formula, which is milliosmos per liters equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. We already have our molecular weight of normal saline solution from the question, which is 58.5. We also have our milliosmos per liter, which is 308 milliosmos. Number of particles of sodium chloride, normal saline is 2 which we should already know right now because sodium chloride is an electrolyte that will dissociate into sodium and chloride. Our mass in grams is the unknown. So if we key in all our values into this equation, we have our 308 milliosmos, which is the milliosmos per liter, equals x, which is our mass that is unknown, divided by 58.5, which is the molecular weight of the normal saline solution, times 2, which is the number of particles, times 1,000. If we make our mass of sodium chloride in grams the subject of formula, it should be equal to 308 milliosmos, which is our milliosmos per liter, times 58.5, which is the molecular weight of the normal saline solution, divided by 2,000, which is the number of particles, times 1,000 we should have 9.009 grams of sodium chloride. This means there are 9.009 grams of sodium chloride that will provide an osmolarity of 308 milliosmos per liter. But that's not what the question is asking us. Our question is, to, is asking us to calculate the concentration of normal saline in percentage weight by volume. So since there, there is 9.009 grams of sodium chloride in one liter or 1,000 ml of the normal saline, so our concentration in percentage weight by volume will be equal to 9.009 grams divided by 1,000 ml multiplied by 100, which is the percent. So we should come up with 0.9% weight by volume all of normal saline solution. Example 8. A pharmacist wants to add 0.9% normal saline solution to 200 milligrams of calcium chloride dihydrate with a molecular weight 147 to get 100 ml of a ring solution. Calculate the total osmolarity of the solution. Our first step is to calculate the milliosmos per liter of the normal saline component by using the formula. So first, we have to find how many grams of 0.9 grams, 0.9 percent of sodium chloride are in on 1,000 ml. So we have to set up a proportion. We write 0.9 percent normal saline solution equals 0.9 grams divided by 100 ml equals x over 1000 ml. We should be able to get 9 grams. This means the 9 grams of sodium chloride in 1000 ml. Our step 2 is to find the milliosmos per liter of the 0.9 normal saline solution. We have our mass in grams which is 9 grams. We have the molecular weight of the normal saline solution, which is 58.5. Number of particles of sodium chloride, which we have been mentioning in all our videos, is 2 because sodium chloride is an electrolyte that would dissociate into sodium and chloride. So the formula for the milliosmos per liter is mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a, a thousand. So if we key in our values correctly into this equation, we have 9 grams, which is the mass of the sodium chloride 
divided by 58.5, which is the molecular weight of the normal saline solution, times 2, which is the number of particles, times 1,000, we should have 308. It means uh, 0.9% normal saline solution, we have an hospitality of 308 milliliters moles per liter. Step 2 is to calculate the milliosmoles of calcium chloride component uh, calcium chloride dehydrate component. So we have to use our formula milliosmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. So we have to find the milliosmoles per liter of the calcium chloride dehydrate. We have, this one, we don't have to calculate the mass because we were, we were already given the mass of calcium chloride dehydrate solution, which is 200 milligrams or 0 0.200 grams. We were given the molecular weight of calcium chloride dehydrate solution to be 147. The number of particles of calcium chloride dehydrate will be 3 because an electrolyte that will dissociate into calcium, chloride, and water. So we have three particles in calcium chloride dehydrate. Now the next is now to use our formula, which is milliosmoles per liter equals mass in grams divided by molecular weight in grams per mole times number of particles times a thousand. So if we key in our numbers correctly, so we have 0 0.200 grams, which is the mass of the calcium chloride dehydrate divided by 147, which is the molecular weight of the calcium chloride dehydrate, times 3, which is the number of particles, times 1,000. We have an uh, osmolality of 4.08 milliosmoles per liter. F finally, but the question is asking us to calculate the osmolality of the parenteral solution. So we need to add up all the osmolality of each component to find the total Osmolality of the parenteral solution. So this is just a simple addition. So all we got to do is just add 308, which is the osmolality of the normal saline solution, plus 4.08, which is the osmolality of the calcium chloride dehydrate. We should have a total osmolality of 312.08.